folks this is an electric circuit question at grade 12 for an internal resistance now the question it says in the circuit diagram below resistor r with a resistance of 5.6 um, 5.6 uh, ohms is connected together with a switch an ammeter and high resistance voltmeter to a battery with an unknown internal resistance okay we have a battery with an emf with an unknown internal resistance and we have the voltmeter with the high resistance and is connected to a battery okay now if you look at our circuit it's a series circuit because the current will move in this side and will pass this resistor and if the switch is closed there the current will pass and then so this is a series circuit so the current that passes here is a total and um, even the current that passes here is a total current now this is a series and it's an only so guys this will be an external resistance this is an external resistance and this is an internal resistance so total current passes here and even the total current passes here so the voltage that is used here it's the v external right it's the v external it's used there okay guys now let's look at the graph it says the graph below shows the potential difference across the terminals of the battery as a function of time now we have a, 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 a graph here that shows a potential difference in time now guys check my previous video on graph i have a video on graphs of electric circuits uh, from grade 11 to grade 12 for the internal resistance check those um, graphs it's a generic um, video about the graphs general how do you approach the graphs so this highest value guys here it's the what it's the emf guys this highest value is the emf so 13 is the emf and then the lowest value guys here it's the what it's the v external right and the difference between the two difference between difference between the emf and the v external it's v internal so this simply means that the difference here between the 13 and 10.5 it's going to be what the v internal so our v internal there it's going to be what 13 minus 10.5 it's going to be what 2.5 2.5 volts so 2.5 it's the v internal or the v lost now the question in 8.1 it's a definition guys i'm not going to spend time on definition stick to the exam guideline it says define the emf it's very important to know the emf the emf guys is the maximum energy provided by the battery per coulomb per coulomb okay okay let's leave that now 8.2 it says um write down the value of the emf the value of the emf as i've mentioned guys there the value of an emf there it's what it's 13 so the answer here it's going to be what 13 volts that's the emf if they were to say uh, to ask you uh what is the value of the v external so it was going to be 10.5 always guys okay it's not going to be always those values. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. When the switch S is closed, now this switch S is closed. Um, when the switch S is closed, there will be a current in the circuit. Now it says when the switch is calculated, the current through um, the resistor R. Guys, in 8.3, let me calculate 8.3 here. 8.3.1 we want the current that passes here guys the voltage that is used here it's v external as i've mentioned and we have a resistance and we want the current that passes there so it will be i is equal to v over r so it will be um, what is our voltage there it's 10.5 10.5 divided by what 
uh, 5.6 if you punch that in the calculator 10.5 divide by um, divide by 5.6 your answer here it will be 1.88 mps this 1.88 mps guys is the total car remember i said in this 5.6 ohm resistor the total current passes there um, that's 8.3.1 now 8.3.2 it says calculate the power dissipated in resistor r guys in resistor r now you have a current you have a voltage you have a resistance so let's write it here 8.3.2 we're looking for a power so since we have here we have a current we have a voltage that is 10.5 we have um, the resistance so we can use lots of formulas you can say power is equal to vi because we have a voltage and the current there and then let's substitute so when we use that it's going to be vol our voltage it's 10.5 and the current it's 1.88 the answer there it will be 19.74 watts don't forget the units guys all the time alternatively we can use the formula that says power is equal to v squared over r which is our voltage it's 10.5 but we need to square it and we divide by the resistance what is the resistance there it's 5.6 5.6 the answer will be the same it's 19.74 watts alternatively um, we can use the formula that says power is equal to i squared times r equal to um, the current it's 1.88 square multiplied by the resistance resistance it's 5.6 the answer will be the same 19.74 um, words okay guys let's move to the next question the next question it says calculate the internal resistance that 8.3.3 when we talk about the internal resistance we're talking about the 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 resistance inside the battery that opposes the charge the flow of charge so we we'll use the formula of an emf that says emf is equal to current open bracket internal resistance plus the external resistance so our e emf here it's what it's 13 and our current it's 1.88 that's the total our r external guys as i've mentioned here this resistance that is 5.6 it's r external it's 5.6 and r that's what we look we're looking for so guys what are we going to have we're going to have we're going to divide by 1.88 there, 1.88 there, and then these two they cancel. You have 5.6 plus R is equal to 10, um, 13 divided by 1.88. 13 divided by 1.88. The answer is the answer is a 6.9148 and then what are we going to have it's going to be r is equal to in the calculator i'll say answer minus 5.6 we transpose this 5.6 in this side it will be negative the answer there it will be 1.3 1 1.31 that will be 1,31 the answer there uh, 1,31 ohms let's look at 8.4 8.4 it says two identical resistors um, each with a resistance x are now connected in the same circuit with the switch closed as shown below guys it's the same circuit as above but there are two um additional resistance which is x resistor x and x um these two resistors guys are in series these two and the combination of both is in parallel to this one not each is parallel not each is parallel the combination 
So guys, it's parallel. So the X, the the R external is made up of these resistance, right? So the current uh, that is read here, it's the total, and the current moves in this side, and then there's a split, and there's a split. So the current that passes in X is the same current that passes there, here regardless of their resistance, but their resistance is the same as X. And the resistance here is 5.6 is the same as the above. But now they told us the ammeter reading has now increased to 4.4 uh, 4, 4 MPS. The ammeter reading has increased to 4 MPS. Remember, the ammeter reading there, it was, um, was 1.88. Now it has increased. So... Knowing that the ammeter reading has increased, um, okay, let's go to the question. 8.4.1, it says, how will did the voltmeter reading change? When they ask you the voltmeter reading, they ask you this, and you should know this reading, it's a VX, what? V external. It reads the V external when the switch is closed. They told you the switch is closed there. So they're asking you about the V external. How will it change? If the if the if the ammeter reading is now increased, how will the, the reading on amid uh, on voltmeter change? Choose from increase or decrease. So before you go that, you should ask yourself: when the current, which is the total current, increases, that means the V internal. They said give the reason for your answer by referring to V internal. That means your V internal will also increase because they directly proportional. The total current and the V internal, they directly proportional. So if the total current has increased, um, that means the V internal has increased as well. So now, um, so now the V external, the V external, which is the one they want, what's going to happen if the V internal has increased? It's going to what? Decrease. So the answer here is what? It's decrease, right? So uh, by referring to the V internal, you will say V internal increases since uh, current, which is the total current, increased increased the v internal and the total current have a direct proportionality on that as always in the grade 12 question paper that question is asked okay now it says calculate the resistance x we wanted the resistance x which is the same as this one so what do we need to do guys here since we know um, as I've mentioned, this is R external. How about we get the R external here? Yeah. We do have the EMF is still the same. We do have the internal resistance is still the same. The, it doesn't change the internal resistance and uh, the EMF. So we'll say EMF is equal to I times R external plus R internal. The EMF is 13. Um, the total current is 4. The R external is the one that we want. And the, the R internal is 1,31. And then we divide by 4. We divide by 4 both sides. So when we divide by 4 both sides there, the answer of this, it's going to be R equal to um, R equal to thirteen comma divide by four minus what one comma three one. The answer there it will be one comma nine four ohms. Guys, this is the R external. The R external here. This R external is equal to the resistance in parallel. Guys, remember this whole resistance here when they are together they are equal to r external but they are also equal to um they are equal to r external they are also equal to the resistors in parallel 
right so now that we have the resistors in parallel how about we get these resistors so we'll say this is r1 and this will be r2 the combination of that is r2 right we will say rp is equal to r1 times r2 divided by r2 1 r1 plus r2 so we substitute now what do we have our rp is 1.94 which is the resistors in parallel the effective resistors in parallel r1 is equal to so our r1 it's going to be equal to guys r1 it's made up of x plus x times um, what is r2 it's 5.6 and then the r1 is made up of x plus x it's made up of those two resistors when you added them plus 5.6 so this is going to be 2x times 5.6 this is going to be what uh, it's going to be what 2x these two it's 2x plus 5.6 we still have 1,94 there 1,94 there and then what are we going to have it's going to be it's going to be um, we cross multiply this times this and this times this guys these two it's going to be 11 comma 2 X and then when we times 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 9 4 we times by 2 it's going to be equal to 3 comma 8 8 x when it times 1 comma 9 4 times by 2 and then 1 comma 9 4 again 1 comma 9 4 we times by 5.6 the answer the answer will be uh, plus 10 comma 8 6 4 and then we do the math uh, this so we have um, we have um, we transpose that to we'll say 11 comma 2 minus 3 comma 8 8 the answer it's going to be uh, come on 11 comma 2 minus 3 comma 8 8 the answer it's 7 comma 3 2 x equal to 10 comma eight six four and then we say uh, ten comma eight six four we divide by seven comma three two the answer there our x is equal to one comma four eight ohms so resistor x is equal to one comma eight ohms I mean this is 1,8 ohms, this is 1,8 ohms.